To conclude our class, we'll review some best practices pertaining to development framework and deployment framework. When building an integration process within Atomsphere, follow these design principles. First, use native Boomi functionality when possible. Avoid Java and Groovy unless it's the only option. You'll want to use common framework components whenever possible. And utilize common reusable processes as sub-processes in your design. Enable connector level extensions in every process. Utilize tracked fields for unique document identifiers when possible. Finally, utilize label fields in components and description fields in processes. Establish folder structure guidelines and establish component naming guidelines. Here's an example using the process name, source system, with the function, the type of data, and the action performed for the destination system. Establish labeling guidelines. Determining document flow in the process logs will be more clearly defined with established labeling guidelines. Also, documenting processes will be easier by defining what each component does based on the label. The description field in the process should be utilized to define an overall description of the integration process. If an internal documentation system, such as a wiki, is being used for documenting the integration process, you can add a link to the documentation in the description field. Here's a checklist for your process. Are all shapes and steps connected? There should be no red connector endpoints. Are the appropriate connectors assigned? Make sure that there are no browsing only connectors. Have the extensions been enabled in the process? Make sure the correct connector fields have been extended and make sure the appropriate process properties or dynamic process properties have been extended. Have the shapes and different steps been properly labeled? Have the correct process options been set? If you're handling sensitive data, purge data immediately should be set for these processes. Are error handling shapes and steps configured? Has the process been successfully unit tested? And were your company's design guidelines followed? It's important to use the document tracking feature to promote accountability. Also implement appropriate error handling, notification, and logging. Use appropriate file names. When possible, pass internal keys from the source system to a field in the destination system. Optionally, you may want to write keys from the destination system back to a field in the source system. In most cases, going directly to a stop shape from a root, decision, try catch, or business rules is discouraged. If any documents go down this branch, it's going to be difficult to trace after the execution is finished. Terminate all branches in your process with stop shapes, even if it will not change the results. This will help to communicate your intentions as the developer to whomever may need to maintain your process in the future. Make sure that shapes are labeled appropriately. Use labels for set properties data process shapes, and decision shapes. You may also want to use labels for branch shapes and root shapes. Generally, we discourage using labels on the start shape and maps, which is unnecessary with good component naming, and the stop shape. 
All components should have names. Rename any components that have had a numeric suffix added by Boomi to enforce uniqueness. You want to avoid putting indicators such as production or test in your component name if you're using environments and extensions. Be sure to follow your company's naming conventions when naming folders. Maintain the proper folder structure. Use a sensible process layout. We encourage using the notes feature within a process. When appropriate, use a subprocess. In a connector call, it is not recommended to filter on minus n days. You want to eliminate redundant copies of components, especially connections. Ideally, you should use a single connection component per endpoint for deployment, possibly one more for browsing. For example, a single component for Salesforce. Use environments and extensions to point that single connection to your sandbox, QA, or production instances. Test copies of a process is discouraged. Instead, have one copy of your process. Changes are normally done in your single process, unit tested in test mode, deployed to a test or QA environment for further testing, and then promoted to production. Now, if you are planning extensive changes to a process, then a version two of your process may be acceptable. A backup copy of a folder is acceptable if done infrequently. Instead, consider copying to another account if you have one available. Keep components out of the root folder. If you're working with a smaller account, then putting shared connections in the root folder is acceptable. Avoid using personal logins for endpoints. For example, configure your Salesforce connection to use Boomi integration rather than Joe Smith. Use shared components where appropriate and keep shared components together in a shared folder.